All right, uh, let's move on from Uyo and, uh, of course, talk national politics now. The PTOB Support Network has slammed the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, accusing him of wishing the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, and his supporters dead. In a statement made by the group, Tinubu has uh, yet to condemn this obituary article, which was published on Monday uh, uh, by, uh, of course, one of his aides, Mr. Sam Omasheye. The statement, which was signed by the Deputy Director of Communications, POSN, Mr. Adebite Adekunle, on Wednesday said, Omasheye had in the article, wished the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi and his supporters dead. The group said, quote, and I quote um, open, if Tunubu did not sanction that article, it would not have been published. If he did not sanction it, by now Omashaya would have been sacked or at least reprimanded for that satanic piece. Quote close. It noted that this, you know, it's important to note that this is the second time in barely three weeks that the APC camp is praying for death in the Obi camp, recalling that Tunubu himself, during an APC rally in Oshun State on July 13th, publicly declared that Labour Party's obedience, no, these are what obese supporters are referred to, would labour till death. That it would labour till death. Uh, we know that politics is a game of words, it's a game of um, wits. People try to outsmart each other with words, with actions, try to sway public opinion in their favour. But there's an extent to which it becomes a little detrimental. We should understand the fine line. There's a thin line. I yeah. mean, death is it might be taking it too far. So or, or other angles that you may want to see this from are, you know, um, and so so the same way Peter will be, you know, every now and then will come out and say, put out a statement, you know, advising, you know, his obedience and people that are his supporters, you know, to, to, you know, to tone it down a little bit, you know, and, you know, let people also understand that some of all these things, you know, don't need to go that far. You know, people have also said, you know, that a lot of the things that, you know, his fan base and the people who are clamoring for his presidency do or say on social media aren't necessarily sanctioned by Peter Obi himself. So I think the Tinubu camp, you know, can also pretty much do the same thing and say that, you know, Sam Omashe, who's, you know, a journalist and, you know, others who are, you know, pushing narratives on social media aren't necessarily speaking for, you know, Tinubu. They are as well, you know, doing the same thing that the obedience so are we, doing. So should we then so, expect him to come out and give So it's address? expected, you know, at least, you know, that he would put out, you know, a message saying, okay, we do not, we don't want campaigns to go this far. Um, you probably should tone it down a little bit. You know, we, we are meant to be exchanging ideas or bantering on ideas on how to move the country forward. You know, let it be issue based, you know, all the time. Um, you know, and I think, you know, Shamo Mache himself, you know, needs to also remember, you know, that the, 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 you're titling, you know, an article obituary, you know, was probably going too far also. And he, I think I remember, you know, a day after he put out that article, he came out on the same Twitter and said, you know, that, oh, that he has started receiving threats to his life, you know, which wasn't the first time that we're seeing stuff like that. Renoir Mokri did the same thing um, after, of course, you know, putting out, you know, very, very, you know, shocking statements about the obedient uh, crowd. Um, then came out the next day to see how Cyrus seemed dead. Right? I think Shagun Washington did the same thing. And then, of course, Samo Masha did the same thing. So it almost starts to feel like, you know, it's it's a play. You know, when you, you do, you know, this is act one. And then so, when you get to reaction, then you act two is to accuse them of threatening, you know, your life and all of that. Um, but once again, the same way the uh, Peter Obi can say that, okay, you, you need to turn it on. I believe that the Tinubu camp should also do the does same this thing. Does this in some way remind you of uh, portable at the head is and saying that you know basically threat, threatening the lives of his co-nominees mm -hmm. i mean there's a place for healthy rivalry there's a place for healthy arguments and you know trying to sway the public in your favor but we must always know where to draw the line once it comes to something that concerns the sanctity of human life that must not be tampered absolutely. with absolutely so we certainly uh, we will follow up with the story and see how it progresses hoping that we certainly hear a word from the presidential candidate of the all progressives congress